Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ricky and I'm a competitive ballroom dancer and also professional makeup artist. I'm also a co-founder and co-owner of the beauty company, Complete Beauty Image. What my company is, is we are a traveling hair and makeup company going to competitions all around the US, providing professional hair and makeup services for ballroom dancers from beginners to pros, from four-year-olds to 94-year-olds, everyone in between, and we just love doing hair and makeup. So today is going to be a live action demo of me doing somebody at a competition actually. If you're here because of the title of the video, uh, an over 50 ballroom makeup demo, I am calling it a demo and not a tutorial and the specific reason for that is I knew I wanted to film her makeup look. I only see this client once a year and she's such a pleasure to work with. So I was like, okay, hey, she'd be a perfect candidate. And I have been getting a lot of requests to do a makeup tutorial for senior dancers if you're over 50 years old. The reason why this is called a demo is because she sat down on my chair and of course I asked her, what would you like for your makeup today? And she showed me a picture that I was really not expecting. And she showed me a picture of, looked like about a junior two or youth dancer. So that's pretty much from the ages of like 14 to 18 of this really quite intense, bright blue cat eye makeup look. No one has ever asked me for this before in that age range, so I was a little bit surprised. <laughs> so that is what I did in the video, and that's what you're about to watch. So even though this is not a classic over 50 makeup look for the ballroom world, it might be for some people, it might not be for others. Really, really hope that you guys enjoy watching it, that you learn something from it, and definitely leave any comments down below while you're watching it if you have any questions. All the products are going to be in the video and they're also going to be added in the description box in the list of my brushes used and my products used so you can see what I'm using and what I have in my kit as well. A little disclaimer before we get started. The competition that I filmed this demo at was at our busiest competition in the entire year and actually the busiest competition that our company has ever seen in the existence of being a company. So if it seems like there's a lot going on, that's because there is, because it was absolutely crazy that weekend, but I really, really wanted to film for you guys because I've had so many requests for a tutorial like this one on an older model. So just ignore the stuff that's happening in the background. I tried to cut out as much as possible, but just be aware that it might look like there's a little bit of craziness going on. All right, that is enough of an intro. We're gonna get straight into the video now. So I really hope that you enjoy my work on a senior ballroom dancer at a competition. So this is our beautiful client and model today. Her name is Beatrice. This is her before, already stunning, and it's a pleasure to work on her today for you guys. So I'm taking my PC09 brush and just brushing her eyebrows to start, and then using my ABH brow powder in the shade Ash Brown, I'm gonna be filling in her eyebrows with my JH43 brush, and I'm just gonna follow the natural shape that she already has, and since she has beautiful dark hair, I am going to make her eyebrows dark, but not too dark because I don't like giving mature clients a super heavy brow. So just as dark enough as I think we should go. Then after that, I'm going to be taking my P. Louise eyeshadow base in the shade Rumor 2 on my PC52 brush. And I'm just going to carve out her brows like I would with any other client. And this is going to give them a nice lifted and clean shape and also prepare the lid for all the shadows. I'm also going to apply the eyeshadow base under her eye as well and in the inner corner, pretty much just around the entire eye. And then I'm going to take my JH08 brush. I'm just going to blend this out on the bottom, on the top, on the inner and outer corners to make sure it is a flawless base for what's coming next. Now I'm going to apply the scotch tape towards the tail of her brow, leaving a little bit of space between the corner of her eye and the edge of the tape. And using a shimmery white shade and my PC22, I'm going to highlight the brow bone and the inner corner. Now taking a neutral matte brown and a JH30 brush, I'm just going to throw this shade pretty much all over the entire eye from the crease and kind of mainly focusing it in the outer half of the eye, outer corner and the crease. I'm also going to apply this under her lash line as well for a nice cohesive look on the bottom matching the top. Next, I'm going to be taking a warm medium tone matte brown shade on a PC10 brush and I'm just going to be applying this first on the outer one third of her eye, 
towards her lash line and I'm kind of applying it almost like a shadow eyeliner, making sure I'm getting it against that tape and very, very slightly just like winging it out towards the outer edge very slowly. And then I'm slowly going to start transitioning that shade to the outer crease the outer V as well, you can call it. And this is still with no additional product. I'm just very, very slowly moving it from the outer third into the outer V. Now I'm gonna repeat literally all the same steps, same shade, same PC10 brush. I'm gonna start by applying some shadow to the base of her lid on the outer one third of her eye very slowly start winging it out against that tape towards the outer corner and then slowly after that I start bringing it up into the outer V and for now I'm keeping this mostly on the outer half of her eye and once I bring it up into the crease I'm going to start just putting it in the crease going back and forth in windshield wiper motions. After I make sure that is all laid out nicely and no harsh edges, I'm going to be taking a matte cream white eyeshadow and a P. Louise 7072 brush, and I'm just applying this light shade on the inner one third of her eye. I'm placing it from the base of her lash line all the way up right into that crease just to create a nice open eye look before we start going in with more deeper shadows. And this is what her eyes look when they're open. Now I'm going to be taking a charcoal gray or a matte black on a MAC 217 and pressing that right up against her outer lash line. And then with no additional product, I'm taking my PC10 brush and just blending that out. And we're going to be doing this many times, so be prepared for this repetitive process. And now I'm taking just a little bit more of that charcoal or matte black and then with no additional product, taking my PC10 and blending that out again, just very softly building this up. Same thing again, taking my MAC 217, I'm building that deeper shade in the outer V and then with no additional product, PC10 to blend it out and this is how you're just going to get that seamless blend. Now I'm taking that matte cream white shade and my 7072 brush and reapplying it to brighter that inner one third on the eye. And one more time, just blending that neutral brown and that white together. Now I'm going to have her open her eyes and look up. I'm going to be taking a charcoal matte black shade on my Peaches and Cream PC38 brush, just a really small pencil brush, and I'm going to be throwing that on her lower lash line, starting to build up the same look that we have on the top, but on the lower lash line now. I'm focusing that only on the outer third, just going back and forth. Now I'm going to take a matte turquoise blue shade and my Morphe Avani FF6 brush and I'm just going to be throwing this turquoise shade all over that lower lash line starting from the inner corner to that deeper shade that we applied first and you're going to keep on building it until it gets to a nice opaque blue shade that you're happy with. And I'm taking a deep blue matte shade next and my JH39 brush and I'm putting that literally right up against her lower lash line. Now I'm going to take that either charcoal or matte black again on my PC38. I'm putting that again just on the outer corner. And then from the bottom, I'm going to start to create an eyeshadow wing using the tape and very lightly connect it to the top eyeshadow that we were already working on before. When she's looking straight out, it looks something like that. And now taking a little bit more of that shade and my same PC38, I'm going to start winging that eyeshadow just like a normal eyeshadow wing that I would do on the top. And with no additional product, taking my PC10 brush and just very softly blending that out. And I'm just showing you the same process on this side. So with my PC38 brush and a charcoal or matte black shade, I'm just going to be putting the eyeshadow in a eye wing shape and with no additional product on my PC10, just keep blending it out until you're happy with the product. So far, this is what we have and I'm really, really happy with it. I think it looks amazing. Now I'm gonna take my NYX Epic Ink Black Eyeliner and I'm actually going to line her eyes. Now with no additional product, I'm taking my PC38 and I'm gonna start blending that pen eyeliner into the eyeshadow eyeliner that we've already created a base for. I'm gonna be doing this on both sides and I'm gonna be asking her to open her eyes and close her eyes and open her eyes and look down until I'm happy with this process. This can be a little bit tedious, but it makes the look so much better in the end. So very, very carefully, I do recommend this eyeliner. It's amazing to work with, and I'm just gonna be placing the eyeliner and then blending it out with that same eyeshadow brush. So you can see I place the liner and then right away, I blend it out with the brush into that shadow eyeliner we already created before. And after repeating that process several times to get a really nice blend, I'm actually going to take a little bit more product of either the charcoal gray or the matte black brown and I'm actually going to 
finish my winged out liner with a beautiful shadow liner on the edge. This is what it is looking like so far. Now I'm going to do the inner corner liner with my NYX Epic Ink Black Liner. This is my favorite eyeliner to do the inner corner with and I'm just doing that in short strokes. Now I'm going to be taking my Amazon Locia lashes and I'm just measuring this lash right now so I can see how much I need to cut off before I actually apply it to her eyes. And next I'm going to be taking my Inglot blue eyeliner in the shade 82 on my Inglot 31T brush and this blue gel eyeliner is going into her waterline. It looks absolutely stunning. It kind of matches the earrings that she has on and it just pulls the whole blue lower lash line look together really, really well. Next, I'm going to be removing the tape, and while this is happening, my eyelashes are being set up, so the glue is getting nice and tacky, and I'm going to be taking my Neutrogena makeup wipe and just cleaning up the outer edges, also under her eye and anywhere else that needs to be cleaned up before we go in with any complexion products. And so far, the eye look is looking amazing, and now the lashes are ready, and I'm just going to be popping those on her. And a really great tip, if you're applying eyelashes on your friend or somebody, have them look down while you're applying them instead of closing their eyes so their, eyelash, so their eyes won't get glued shut together while you're trying to apply them. And so far, I just popped those on and this is her when she opened them. I'm super happy with how the eyelashes are sitting and I'm going to take just a little bit of black, throw that on the bottom outer corner because I thought it needed just a little bit more definition. And then with no product on a PC09 brush, I'm just pulling out that little bit of winged liner that we did with the shadow. Now we're just going to brighten up that blue on the lower lash line again with that turquoise shade and FF6 brush. This is the lighter blue and we are just really brightening that up and pulling it down. And next I'm going to have my NYX glitter glue on my FF2 brush from the Morphe X Avani collection. And I'm just applying my glitter glue all over where the blue is because next we're taking our peaches and cream blue pigment. This is in the shade Mermaids on a JH42 brush and this is where the magic happens. Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. I love this look on her. And next I'm taking that matte cream white shade on my 7072 brush and I'm just putting that right on the inner corner to brighten it up a little bit. Then taking my Morphe M410 brush, I'm just deepening it up that shadow liner that we did and this is the eyes. Pretty much the finished look before we go on and do the complexion. And I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far. Now we're going to move on to complexion, which always happens at the end of my appointment. Taking my Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the shades 310 and 312. Mixing them together and then using my Papa Beauty Sponge. This is from Amazon, an amazing dupe for the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to go ahead and start blending this in. I did speak with the client and she did want to go for a little bit of a tan today. So that is why it is darker than her natural complexion. But I am going to be blending that in all over her face and also down her neck as well. And you guys know how to apply foundation. As you can see, it's getting a little bit crazy in here. Next, I'm going in with the Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach by e.l.f. This is my favorite concealer to use, especially on mature clients. It really, really brightens. I'm putting it in all the same areas that I would normally put concealer. And I'm using the same sponge to blend that out. I always blend out the outer areas of the face first, and then I go in and blend out the under eye. So that area gets more coverage. So the under eye is really, really nice and bright. Also, I love this formula because it doesn't like cake up and it's just really, really hydrating and gives the skin a beautiful look. Now I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Press Powder, shade 220 on my JH07 brush. And I am just mattifying all the areas that we just highlighted with the concealer just to set them in place. On a more mature client, I don't go too heavy on this step because their face doesn't need to be super matte, but just enough so that the makeup is set. Now I'm taking my Positions Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade that's just called Bronzer on a JH02 brush. And I'm just bronzing the outer edges of her face. And after going in with a light bronzer everywhere, we're going to go in with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in the shade Tawny and a PC16 brush. This is going to be her contour, hollows of the cheeks around the outside of the edges of the face. Not too much, but not too little. And then I'm taking a mix of shades from my Ben Nye Blush Palette on a JH06 brush and just blushing up her face in multiple places. Now I'm going to be taking my Ace Butte Highlighter Palette, the shade Glowing on a JH09 brush and highlighting the center of her face and her cheekbones as well. This is almost the very last step. 
After we do this, we're going to be taking our Maybelline Big Shot Mascara and just throwing some mascara on those lower lashes to add some definition. And now taking my Morphe X Avani Lip Liner. This is in the shade Unicorn Floss. And I'm just lining her lips with this kind of like a bright babyish pink kind of liner. She has beautiful lip shape naturally. So I didn't do anything. I just followed her natural lip line. I'm filling it in around the edges and the corners. And then I'm taking my Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Romeo. I thought this would just pull out the blue so beautifully and it's really bright enough that it's gonna stand out on the floor. I'm just gonna take a lip wand and just blend that into the outer edges where we did the lip liner. And again, I'm just following her natural lip shape because she already has beautiful lips. And then as a final step, I'm taking my e.l.f. Cosmetics Clear Lip Gloss. This is gonna give it a nice, hydrated and more plump look and she looks absolutely gorgeous just throwing on a little bit more blush and here is her after this is the completed look and next up you're going to see a side by side before and after beautiful before beautiful after beautiful on the inside and the out and this was her reaction when i showed her the look in the mirror she was so happy it made me so happy and with that that is the end of this demo all right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed the demo that I did on her. She's just a beautiful person inside and out, and I am so, so grateful that I had the opportunity to work on her and also that she let me film her and share it with all of you guys. If you wanna follow me for more, you can always follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. I'll put them over here on the screen so you can check them out. Also, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to my YouTube family. We just recently hit 7,000 subscribers, which I think is absolutely insane. Thank you so much for being part of my family and for supporting me and my videos. I really, really hope that you guys enjoy this one and just special thank you to you guys. Also, quick plug, if you want to check out my business or you want to learn more about the services we offer, what competitions we're going to, or literally just any questions that you have, I'm going to link everything in the description, our website, our Instagram, our Facebook. You can reach out to us literally anywhere. Also, our email as well. We'd love to connect with you. And if you ever want to get your hair and makeup done by us, it would be our pleasure to work with you. All right, that is it. That's all that I have to say. If you're still here, thank you for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.